So I think one of the saddest parts about the MetaZoo community is the fact that they are victims, but they don't know they are victims. They still have a lot of copium and a lot of hope. Imagine ordering $2,500 of product for a legacy set. And then instead of getting that product on time, you don't get the product at all, but they send you a letter. So maybe in the back of your mind, you have forgotten all about MetaZoo and you don't really want to deal with it. It's a terrible investment. You know, in my experience, I invested in ARK Invest. I just uh, totally ignore it. You know, when I just, I, I train myself to like go right past it. I still own it because it's so cheap. Why not? And that's a bad investment. You know, there are some boxes that I just hide in a closet and I don't want to see or talk about it or have it, a letter be sent to me to indicate that, yes, I've lost that amount of money. And that's MetaZoo in a nutshell. All these people who ordered pre-orders, and this has never happened. I don't think there's one card game that's done this, right? Where they have taken pre-order money and then bankrupt. I can't think of one card game that has done this. Uh, Inuyasha did not. Uh, they wrapped it up. Uh, Upper Deck did not. The original uh, Bandai Digimon did not. Because they don't take pre-orders. Your store can take a pre-order, but not the company themselves, right? I don't know. Magic the Gathering, they take pre-orders on secret layers. Um, that kind of makes sense to direct, right? Because they print the cards and they're a bigger company. But I've never seen a company that does take pre-orders bankrupt. And pre-orders are only something from the Kickstarter generation audience. So it's not something that was like in my when I was younger, you pay, you bought, you pay for what exists. You don't pay for somebody to, to hopefully make or not make the product that you want to buy at full on retail prices. Now, this is the Kickstarter generation. I'm never going to understand it. It's been explained to me many times. I'd much rather just buy a product that I know exists uh, from a store or from a distributor that I know will, will deliver. That's me. So instead of getting their products and their delivery, they get letters. And now their copium is, oh, we are going, I think they're pretty obvious. We're going to frame these letters up and that's going to make back the value we put into a, no, nobody wants your bankruptcy letters, guys. The last thing they want is a bankruptcy letter from MetaZoo. That's not going to be sellable on eBay for a lot of money because they sent so many of them out. And I think at the end of the day, this is kind of the MetaZoo community. They are getting bank letters basically saying, we're not going to deliver your product. And instead of being mad at MetaZoo, which they should be, they have every right. And this is something Nick talked about too. They have, and about me saying, like, I've never said, in, whatever I said about management is correct. You have every right to be mad at them. But there's a lot of, I don't, I don't even know how to call them, Timmy's. I don't, I don't know what they are. You have every right to be mad at Argos and, and Alpha Investment, who's deleted all these videos, by the way, including ones with Mike Waddell himself. You have every right to be mad at Mike Waddell and, and the whole team, Andy and whoever else is over there, right? You have every right because they took something. They sold you a, a dream. They sold you a pre-order. Forget if this was a store. And, and they did all these pre-orders to you. And instead of getting your pre-order, you got a bankruptcy letter saying the store, people would be ferociously mad. And do you know how I know that? Because there is a store like that. It's called Clutch Cards. They closed down and you can Google them. Clutch exactly how you think it's spelled with a C. And you can see how angry people are that they didn't get their pre-orders. But in MetaZoo, because they're so used to being abused, um, they not only do not get their pre-orders, they're okay with it. They're like, oh, well, cool. I got a letter. I'm going to frame it now. As if this is like a Kickstarter bonus, right? Oh, this is one of the bonuses for order for spending thousands of dollars on pre-orders. I'm never really going to get the Kickstarter generation of, you know, I, that's not for me, but I understand it's for some people, but there is risk associated with it. Uh, maybe there's some type of reward. I'm not sure if it really makes sense. But you have individuals in the community who have lost a significant chunk of money. 
hundred dollars is significant, depending. From my understanding, is the MetaZoo community is still very new, very young. It's newer collectors. It's not like me, or even Rudy. We have our Black Lotuses. We have our play sets of Duels and Power Nine. We we have all this valuable stuff because that's what we grew up with, and that's what we are attracted to. It's newer players who want to have that stuff at a massive discount. They want the Charizard first edition, but they don't want to pay fifty thousand dollars for a raw or a PSA 10 at $300,000, right? They want a, the new one, Mothman, and they want to get a discount on it. And then they want that card to eventually be the $500,000 Charizard card. But it, it's never going to be that because this is a game that lacks one very interesting fundamental. It's It's been run to the ground. It is bad management, bad influencers that got involved, including our good friend Steve Aoki, He's nowhere to be evolved, including sports card and vet. It's uh, including uh, pay money. Wubby was he has a promo card here as well. They got influencers. They promoted it. They were heavily relying on these individuals as the marketing. They essentially were the marketing for the company, and it, it didn't work. The Sanrio collaboration, as much as um, we love Hello Kitty at my house, it didn't work. Uh, how did we know it didn't work? Well, the company's bankrupt. There's a lot of things that didn't work for a company making, what, $21 million in revenue, some, something like $20 plus million in revenue a year just to tank like they tanked. I would even suggest that, like, there are people out there who just want to be done with MetaZoo, and the last thing they want to do is receive a bankruptcy letter to themselves. They don't know what it is, and then when they open it, it's MetaZoo. And they're like, oh, well, you're, you're a creditor of MetaZoo. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, man. Um, oh, you guys got to keep up with MetaZoo. I can't remember the last time a card game bankrupt and had to send bankruptcy letters to everyone who had made a pre-order. Because back when I was younger, when these card games would go bankrupt, they wouldn't go bankrupt on pre-orders. So not only did they go bankrupt on the money they already had, the millions of dollars they made, they made they went bankrupt on your money without providing you anything for it. All you got was this letter, this bankruptcy letter, with the lawyer's uh, pacer ID, golf man, right? Was that worth the hundreds, if not thousands of dollars you put in that you will never get any product for? I'm very, very suspicious of people who always do kick so matters did not one kickstarter two kickstarters pico trade which also went bankrupt they did the same thing they did multiple kickstarters i think they did a gofundme as well and when you have to continuously raise money this way like at some point in time like it's like where's the money going like why do you need to raise more money you've already had your capital raise what did you do with that I think that's the question that everyone in MetaZoo wants to know. What happened to the money? And for the most part, bankruptcy court hasn't determined that yet. But the money went somewhere, right? I mean, they were making twenty plus million dollars in revenue a year. They had investors. They had they had a lot of collaborations. Um, where did the money go? Because it surely the money surely didn't go to fulfilling pre-orders. I can tell you that much. Anyway, bye guys.